Hi fellow Django developers, Azakaya here from AwayJango.com where we discuss interesting Django topics that helps you grow, improve as a Django developer. So if that sounds interesting, like, subscribe, share this video with anyone if you find this video interesting. Let's get into it. So this will be the third video for our Django generic view playlist. The, uh, like we'll be discussing Django gene form view, form generic view, right? So Django form generic view is a view you use to render, like the name implies, it's a view you use to render forms on a template. Let's say you want to render a form from a model, you create a form, then you want to render that form to a template. Django form generic view is what to use to render rapidly, quickly, easily render forms to a template. So the playlist, I'll leave a link to the playlist. A link to the playlist in the description. I'll also leave a link to an article we have on alwaysjango.com, like the website, the blog. I'll also leave a link to it in the description so you can go and check it out. Before, like in the previous video, we looked at template views in Django, how to use template views in Django, and what have you. So now we are going to discuss form views. So this is a simple application we have here. We have this model in our model.py. We have this person model. This person model has name and age, right? Name and age fields. Then we have a a forms of py. And this forms of py is just a model form. This model form will have the meta declaring the model and the fields to render, right? So in our view, I already imported this form. So let's start. So to create to create a form view, we create our we create our class. Let's name it form view then we inherit from django views dot generic we import form view form view right then we'll make our our class inherit from the form view form view right so to use this form view we have like three attributes three composite attributes we have to we have to declare right class attributes one of them is template name right the second will be the form class, the form class, the third will be success URL. Then this is it, this is it guys, with this, the other ones, but these are the compulsory ones. Now the template name, this is the name of your template, a path to your template. We have a template of PY, we have a templates folder here. In this templates folder, I created the forms view to HTML, nothing is here, right? So let's say the template name, name will be the name of your template in this case it will be form view dot html then the class the, the form class the form class will be the like the form you want to render that this form we created here the model form that we created here for this model for this person model for this person model so it will be this form this person form right so we already imported the person form so we enter person person form here. Then the source you success URL. The success URL is where like after render after the form renders out, then you click you click submit after submitting the form. After Django does its eastern processes the data, um save maybe saves to the database, does whatever it wants to do. This source URL will be the URL, it will be your your user will be redirected to right so i'll leave it as slash right so after creating after submitting the form successfully submitting and processing the form django will then redirect us to success url right so let's go to our our server is starting already so let's go to our urls or py file and add this and add this view so from from sample app dot views we import form view Right, so form view part let's say form view. Then we we'll use this view, form view. Then because it's a class, we say as view, right? Don't forget whenever you are using class views in Django, always use this. Import the view, then use this as a view function to make it view to make it work, right? So we enter a name, let's say the name will be form view. So this is what we have. We'll go to our server. Let me copy this. 
we'll go to our server go to our server open this so form view enter it so nothing renders out because of our template is empty this template is empty so let's let's create something let's have something here let's say form view so in our form we create a form tag html form tag so we render out the form this will be the template name for the form that got passed into this view from this that got passed into this template from this view right this will be the name of the form right so let's say the method is post then let's add, add our csrof token csrof token so then our submit our input type of submit input type submit right so this is it we'll go to our we'll reload our browser we'll have the form right you can see you can render out the form as a as a p tag as p to make it um to make it display in block right instead of in line so let's enter maybe the same name name of the person is let's say as kaya morgan chukode then the age is 23 let's submit so successfully we have submitted this form it has redirected us to the slash like the home view which is what we which is what what we mentioned here as the success url so this is it guys this is how you use the form view django generic form view is simply used to render out forms to your templates so if you find this video interesting like subscribe share share this video with anyone you find you think will find this video important or turn on the notification too so that you get notified when i release new videos i think the next the next video in this playlist should be should be maybe create view right should be create view for creating when we get into that we discuss that so like subscribe share turn off the notification to stay tuned always be safe thank you guys peace